Hi, and welcome to Art Talk. Today, we're going to be joined by an artist that everyone's talking about. Not only is she gorgeous, but her art is gorgeous too. She's featuring in Flux magazine at the moment, and we'll see her in April at the Bickerton Grace Gallery, and also in February in Vows magazine. Let me introduce you to Lily. Hi, Lily. Hi, Stephen. How are you? So, I'm good. I'm good. Are you? Yeah, God, you're everywhere at the moment. Oh, it's exciting stuff, eh? Hey? Yeah. So tell me a little bit about the painting that's behind you, you right now. Um, this is one of my one of the six collections, which is the Unity of One, and yeah. this is called the Kiss, um, which is actually one of my favourites. Hence why it's hanging in my home. <laughs> my God. So tell me what what made you start? What made you made you become an artist? Um, I've I've always been, you know, very keen and very creative from being quite a young age. I was always encouraged by both parents being creatives themselves to express yourself um, from very, very young. So I would always draw and and use paints and from being very, very young. But I always was drawn, no pun intended, to um, figurative, the figurative arts, which was for, you know, a four or five-year-old is a little unusual, but I've always <laughs> just been intrigued. They were a little bit um, like a silhouette, like a nymph silhouette that have over the years have progressed into um, a more just textured, more um, just a diverse expression of myself, of, of what I do. I think it's very easy to see in your art that you put a lot of your soul into it, which is one thing that hits it with me. Um, I, I, I must ask you, how much of, uh, does it help you with mental health to paint? And uh, Oh, it, hugely. Absolutely you know, huge. Art. That for many years was, was the reason why I painted, was to express and release and soothe the yeah. mind. And um, having gone through quite turbulent times, it, you know, when I was younger and through um, quite a portion of my life, it was always something that I turned to that would help me um, self-medicate um, mentally um, and beautiful things would come out even during turbulent times. So, you know, it, it was huge how, long, how long does it take to do each piece? Um, I mean, sketching, um obviously can be done in in a day or a couple of days, but my finished works are all very highly textured and I use um, oils, um, sometimes acrylics and inks, which drying time can take many, many weeks, if not months. So a finished piece can sometimes take up to 12 months. Now, your work's showing in Madrid, uh, New York, and yeah. in London at the moment, you're in a Bickerton Grace Gallery, uh, and you're showing there in April. Can you tell me a little bit about the exhibition and what you're going to be doing? Um, it's, I, I mean, I've now been with um, the Bickerton Grace for, um, it's over a year now, and um, introduced by your dear self as well. Yeah. <laughs> Don't so say that. So that. that was, that was a wonderful, you about you, not a wonderful introduction. <laughs> Yeah. To, to Anne Marie, and then of course we um, can can join it with the. I became one of the sentiment artists, which is a, a brilliant, a wonderful concept, which I feel very blessed to be a part of with all these other talented artists. And um, last year I did a um, exhibition with the wonderful Robert Grace of Bickerton Grace yeah. with his amazing ceramic art pieces. Incredible, and our work just really gelled together. They, you know, it, it was a real success. So we're doing another collaboration mid-April. And I think, Lily, what we have to say is you're in for a bit of a shock when you turn up to this gallery because it's a bit more oh, exciting yeah. than your average gallery. But we won't give the surprise away for people coming to see well, it's, it. It's, it's, it's such an experience. Um, it, it's like it's like Paris in the sixties, a kind of yes, uh, yeah. Um, it's just such fun. So you've also just been in a uh, highly prestigious magazine, Flux magazine for art. Yeah. Uh, and uh, what's the reaction been to um, to the, to the Flux piece? A really very, very, very positive because it that the the um, the actual write up in the interview was very much more about the, me, as in my journey and. Yeah why I do what I do and what comes out. And um, the piece really did solidify 
um, how, it got people to know me a little better because it's really hard for people to, you never know, know somebody and why they do what they do. So it really helped with that. And it would take us an hour of interviewing to tell the whole story. It's fascinating, but you can get it in Flux and you can get it in Bows magazine. Uh, yes. This month is coming out um, on more of your art and it is an incredible story. So I suggest that people go along to the exhibition. In a, oh, a, yes, come along. A, You'll have a fantastic time. It's 20th of April and it's it's going to have, we have live music as well and just amazing people, wonderful art. Yeah. other artists as well so it's really great and obviously robert's going to be exhibiting his work as well so so it's the brickers and grace gallery and i hope to see everybody there lily thank you so much for joining me oh, uh, thank you so much Stephen. I've been chat for ages but, but <laughs> we'll never get on social media thank you so much thank you bye oh thank you good night, bye, good night.